What is up guys, today is a new day, I hope you guys are having a great day, working towards your goals, being productive and absolutely freaking crushing it. So today uh, I, I posted on my Instagram story, I posted this picture and I asked you guys whether you wanted me to show you what was inside my sketchbook or whether you guys wanted me to show you what was inside my safe. And uh, it was pretty obvious that you guys wanted me to show you what was in the safe. Alright, so uh, that being said, that then I guess I'm just going to show you guys what's in this safe. Nope, 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 nope. You got to watch the rest of the video first. Oh, that burns. It's a vlog. And now you're here because you're like, what's in the safe, man? <laughs> guess what? All right, so earlier today I was working on making those t-shirts. There's a little clip of it here. And then uh, also, they actually, I don't know if I did anything else today. Oh, I made another intro. Check it out. Hey, what is up, guys? Today's a new day. I hope you guys are having a great day. Work towards your goals, being productive, and absolutely freaking crushing it. See, I always default to hitting my head when I don't have something else to go boom, boom, boom. It's, yeah, anyways. I'm on the small camera right now. Big camera is over here. All of the brain bucket shirts that have been made are out there. It worked way better when I used that retarder base, so I'm definitely going to use that for all the colors. I'm on the small camera because I'm going somewhere with the bike, and I'm going with Chris. I'm going with Chris to make a sign. Not make a sign. To put a sign up. Alright, well that was good. It was uh, a little bit difficult there because the, there was too many letters for the, the space that we had. We had to kind of come up with something on the go and I think it, it worked out decent. And now that we're done with the rest of the video, uh, I guess I can show you the uh, what's inside the, the safe. Maybe, maybe is it, is it is that that is it that time yet? Maybe no. Mm, all right. No. Haha. <laughs> Jk. It wasn't that easy. I also want to show you guys that I'm working on this Casey Neistat wood burning once again. I think it's looking really good. I mean, well, it's not looking much different than the last time you saw it. But I got this tree done, which I'm proud of. All right. Safe time. Boom. Hello? Hey, stop yourself or not. Hey, what are you up to? Uh, I'm just filming a video. What? Filming a video. For what? What's inside my safe? What's inside the safe? Well, you have to watch the video. It, it'll probably be like a, a Dylan Taylor 10 minutes. I'll see you in like three hours. That's about right. That's a good ass. Your, your 10 minutes is either one minute or three hours. All right, so now that Chris is done uh, bugging us, there we'll start off with this uh, official Millennium Keepsake. It's it's this stamp set from uh, 2000, I believe. Yeah, that's the Millennium. That's when the, the yeah. So there's one big old stamp right there, and then if you just flip it over, there's a, there's a couple more stamps. There's also a coin in there. So there's a there's a nice little coin in here, and then uh, we've got these stamps. I guess you could still technically use these. I, they're, they're part of a stamp set. I guess it's the same as you could just technically use any coin. All right, next up is uh, a whole bunch of these. So Lincoln Head Scent, uh, Lincoln Head Scent. There's a rubber band stuck to the back of that one. Uh, Canadian Nickel, there's some papers. These are the Canadian Large Scents. 
and these are the Canadian small scents. Cool, we will go through those in a moment. Also got a Canadian silver dollar at 1958. It's not that old, but it, it's pretty sure it's all pure silver. Uh, and then this um, John Cabot. I think this is aluminum. It feels like aluminum. I don't honestly know where I got it. I think it came in a box of stuff from a yard sale. All right, there's a bunch of coins here. Here's another regular silver dollar right there, 1975. Here's just a random assortment of Olympic coins and other world currencies, just a bunch of random stuff. And then I believe that's a, another silver dollar right there. Oh, right, and uh, an arcade token, that's that's super important. We've got a couple loonies, a couple toonies, just, these are just re like regular circulation coins that I found that I wanted to put in, so I, I did. And ah, this is really cool, my grandma gave this to me, I think. Um, it's a $1 coin from the United States of America. I, I really didn't know that uh, the states had coins, like $1 coins, but apparently they do, so I mean, there's... That was news to me. I don't know if everyone in the States knows that you guys have coins, but you do. Another big old silver dollar, 1985. Uh, these are just random nickels that are either old or have random things on them. And there's another, I think these are all V nickels that, that had the big V on them. And these are all American nickels. I don't know why I separated them, but hey, why not? And then this little pill jar full of quarters. They are all these quarters right here, the, the Royal Mounty. There are a few that were messed up and it has something to do with the uh, size of the bust on the other side of the coin. They're worth a considerable amount of money, but I've never found one. I think they're pretty rare. And another pill jar full of the exact same quarters. Another bag of random assorted coins. Everything from this like flowery shaped coin to stamped out things from Disneyland. Old nickels, some older pennies, another silver 50 cent piece right here. And the last thing that we have in here that we haven't shown you yet is a bunch of old pennies. So here, I'll just get one out to show you. This is what an old penny looked like from uh, Canada. Instead of being tiny, they were they were pretty big. Like this is the size of about a quarter, maybe, maybe a little bit bigger than a quarter. This is from 1917. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's all copper. I, I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know that much about coins. So I've got a bunch of those in there. Just, and so they just, they just kind of stay in that little jar. All right, now to the cooler part, which are these books, the small scent collection. Got a bunch of small pennies. I'll just get a close up shot of this. So it dates as far back as 1928. That's uh, when I, well, the first one I have is right there. And it carries on. I'm pretty sure that's an American. No, it says Canada on it. It's more and more. It just basically it goes all the way down to the, the I think that's the Centennial one. Now here's, here's uh, the cooler book. But check that out. Do you see that? That penny is uh, made of steel. I think that was uh, back in wartime, I believe, when they were trying to save co copper, maybe. I really don't know, but like the penny itself is made of steel, so I thought that was really cool. And the Canadian nickel collection, just a bunch of them. These are when they all had like squared sides on them. It's uh, quite a while ago, there's 1922. That's uh, 1960 though, in the, the wrong slot. That's not good. And last but not least, the last thing that was actually in the safe this Canadian large scent collection from 1858 to 1920. This has to be my favorite. These are all of those large pennies that I was talking about before. That one, I believe the oldest one that I have is from 1859 and it is right there. And here's another one from 1859 which has a different patina on it. I don't know, apparently they made some that were a different kind of metal in that year, I think. So who knows, maybe that's worth a lot of money, but I, I doubt it, I really do doubt it. And carrying on, we've got a whole bunch more all the way up to 1920. That is the contents of that safe, guys. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of that. And if you did enjoy that, make sure to leave a big old thumbs up, subscribe, 
to this channel right here because there is a ton of cool videos like this, not like this, just absolutely anything you can think of. So just hit that subscribe button. Also, one more thing. Yeah, uh, there's, uh, there's two more safes. If you guys wanna see what's inside of these, like the video, and if this video gets 100 likes, I will show you guys what's inside the other two safes. All right guys, that is going to be it for this video. I'd like to leave you guys off by saying a huge thank you to Randy, Robinbert, and Mike Maxwell, our number one Patreon supporters. You guys are what is making this still happen. If anyone else wants to help support this channel in any way, shape, or form, I suggest Patreon. It's the best for both the creator and the viewer. Check out Patreon if you have not already. I'll put a link up in the top corner of the screen up here and also a link in the description. If you guys wouldn't mind checking that out, that would be awesome. And with that, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out. t-shirts they are for sale the link is up here much quality good wow no